Youngest in the Yacht Club, man, with the big homie Vince Serrano. It's your boy Strizzo. New Energy. That's all. Hey, that's all we had up in the building was New Energy. Good vibes, man. I love it. Youngest in the Yacht Club. You know what it is. Striz. They want the money and fame. We go to the city and we don't be tucking our chain. Woke up in paradise and we live in the drain. I know it won't be the same. So I'm a little Puerto cocaine. Fly Latino gang. I used to dream of something like this. Remember times I was doing this. Youngest in the Yacht Club. I got Strizzo on here, man. Like, what it do? We, we, you, you, not just, and, and I, I gotta be careful about using the word legend. Because right. legend <laughs> implies that you dead or that your right. movement dead. Right. You still out here. Right. You still making moves. Right. So you a living legend. You, 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 your name ring streets. You ain't an OG. You, you a G. Right. You know what I'm saying? Always reinventing, dog. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, I'm I'm always figuring out how to reinvent and keep, you know, keep growing the brand. Big facts. You know what I mean? You you know, because what I do is I'm a student. What people don't understand is like even with all the success that I've been able to reach, it's like I'm still a student. I watch and be like, okay, you know, how do people like Diddy mm. and you know, all these other folks, you know, like reinventing themselves, mm -hmm. you know, and everything. And and then you have this this other generation, it's like, because people ask me all the time, I have people like, yo, man, how you keep doing this? I'd be like, yo, I just stay consistent, right? Mm. You get these, you know, these these uh, these uh other artists that they try to follow all these other artists. And then, like, so you think about it, we, we missing a whole generation, basically a couple of decades of music because these artists, they'll make all this music, then they'll, like, either, like, end it all or, you know, OD or something like that. They you be know? out of here. And it's just like, yo, like... At the end of the day, it's about consistency, man. You know what I mean? Hey, hey, hey I parted with, with with the best of them, but young, yeah, old, man. yeah, young, old, rich, po. I done been, bro. I done been in the room with billionaires, bro. I remember one time I was sitting in a room with the uh, the owner of the dog on Seattle Seahawks, dog, and, and bro, like, what did he look like? He did not. He was just plain Jane, bro. <laughs> bro had on some khaki shorts, some some sandals, and right. a Hawaiian shirt. Mm. It was uh, up there at a birthday party. Mm. You know what I mean? Just chilling. And then how did you find out he owned the Seahawks? My boy that played for the Seahawks told him. <laughs> <laughs> so he was like, what did he say? What did he say? d Jack from Tampa when he played for the Seahawks. Yeah, yeah. We was over there. And uh, my, 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 uh, shout out Miss T. We, she, she do my hair. Okay. She do his hair too. Okay. Boom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we was out there, bro. We was just at a party, man. Dude was just chilling. And, uh, and then, you know, I was like, hey, man, you know who that was? No, nah, I do not know who that was. You know, he, he the owner. Oh, okay. And, yeah, and, and and how did you, would you say, now I know I already know the answer right. to this. <laughs> right. Would you say you kept it gator with him? Like, or would you would you say that you, if you would have known, you would have been different? I, mean, I treat everybody the same, dog. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, why? I treat it. Well, because I see what it's like when you, when you, when you, you know, when you do too much, you lose everything. Right. I've seen so many artists during my journey, bro, that like, they'll be living for that moment. It ain't nothing wrong with living for the moment, dog. Right. But you got to also, you know, live to make a legacy. You know what I mean? Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. I always say LL, you got to mm. live for the, to make a legacy, bro. Mm. So at the end of the day, it's like, I treat everybody the same. Right. You know, if you're a, a rapper up here, you got to remember, if you're a rapper, you went into the studio, you know, and you made the song. You made it with your heart. Mm -hmm. You might not know how to go in there and get it mastered or whatever, but you might have recorded it in your bedroom or whatever, mm -hmm. you know. And but you coming to me, you bringing me that music, you know, with, with your your blood, sweat, and, and your feelings, and right? Yep, you right. And so I look at that as the same way when a when a uh, a label, a major label, bring me like a nice promo CD. Yeah, I treat them all the same, right? right. And then you know I and I give the same feedback as a DJ. You know, I give the same feedback, you know? So, bruh, mm -hmm. it's funny that you say that uh -huh. because when my girl hit you up, right. the song Sheesh that she was fucking with, right. I recorded that in a hotel room in Iowa. Bruh. And the feelings on that song bruh. was like, yo, this yo, this is, you know what I'm saying? Bruh, listen, dog. Your girl sent me that song because, uh, you know, we was just trying to, like, 
weave our way through this COVID thing. Right. And I got the opportunity, you know, like, you know, Janice Live, historic venue. Talk talk about that, because this, this yeah. Youngest in the Yacht Club is important. Yeah. Because what, no matter where you're from, you need to tell your experiences right. and how to get through it. Right. But I also, the reason why I want to bring people from our area first right. is to put on Tampa and actually, because right now Tampa's not the same Tampa it was right. 20 years ago. <laughs> so now you, <laughs> so so ex, explain Janice and the, his, the, the historic meaning behind that. So, you know, Janice Live is is like one of the, the the staples of Tampa Bay. You know, all the major artists, you know, come through there. Everyone. You know I mean? Major artists. Huge venue. You know, yeah. Fits. Yeah. I mean, it fits like, I think capacity is about 7,000. For instance, I did Wayne. I did, you know, I, I was a, the headliner DJ before Wayne, when <laughs> Wayne came. You know, like. That's Wheezy for you. Yeah, know. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Wayne, uh, whatever you have to know. Not Wayne you know. Wonder. Hey, you know yeah, mean? yeah. But, no, uh, but everybody, bro. Yeah, right. DMX. Yes. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, Me- meth, meth. Meth and red. You all know? them. So um, COVID was happening, you right. know, and, and everybody was weaving their way through that. Everybody was still, you know, you know, trying to, you know, you know, get their place in there. Yeah. And then the Super Bowl was here. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean, and. Obviously, you know, the Super Bowl came and we were still trying to weave our way out of this. Yep. And the owner, you know, it was a partner of mine, DJ Elmo. He was like, hey, man. So, you know, we got the owner of Janice. He want to do something. Mm. You know what I mean? And he was like, you know, you know, would you link up? Let, let's put something together. So we get over there and they had a capacity like they had like through this. So it was Thursday through Sunday. Like and and let me tell y'all something. Getting Janice, <laughs> hey, Thursday through Sunday, unheard of, unheard of. That that it's booked at a right. high, and and so my girl. It's funny that you say that. I don't mean mm-hmm. to cut you off, but mm-hmm. no, good. my girl saw a photo of me. I was at Janice when my boy L Nice brought in Slick Rick, all of them. Right. So that photo uh, was what she saw me. Right. It's packed. Right, <laughs> it's right, packed for right. Slick Rick and Slick right. Rick. Barely even. This is right before I think right. he passed. Right, right, right. before he passed, right. he was. It was full. Nah, slick Rick, all the right. people. Right. So, so it gets. It's a lot of people. It's a professional venue, music, right. sound. Like I mean, and, and you could tell them, bro. Like they didn't hold no stuff. Like, bro, we came in there. Literally, they brought out the big backdrop. What well, they had, the, they had a the backdrop. The big backdrop. They got the, the video strips over the front. Yeah, bro. It was all so, black. Right, <laughs> right. So it wasn't like they gave us like they they you know B set up. They right. like they gave us they you know official setup, bro. And it was such a blessing, man. I got introduced to your music. The first thing I heard, I promise you, I listened to it for about thirty seconds, bro. And I was uh-huh. like. Get them on. You know what I mean? Ask your girl, bro. Thank you, bro. bro listen, Thank you, bro. I hit, her, up. I hit her right back, dog. I'm like, yeah. Bro, we definitely need that vibe. To, to, because at that time during COVID, mm-hmm. right? So, Youngest in the Yacht Club, right? I talk about that, and that's a lifestyle. We talk about how that was. How that came about, though, was like, what you know, people like us now are getting into the forefront. Right. People like us... And I'm not talking about people like us, not just people of color, bro. I'm talking about like, just like you are today right, is right. exactly how I see you right. every single day. Right. Just like you are today, I bet you, you just was just like that. I'm talking about same look, hat, right, right, glasses, right, right, right. strizzle, the, the, right. the, what's the name of the, um, the, the, uh, the, the clothing, the clothing. Yeah, new energy, fresh new energy, AF. Yep. new energy, fresh yep. AF. Yeah, same shirt, yep. not, not the same shirt, but the the, the right. tag, right. your brand, right? Just like that is the same way I seen you. And so, youngest in the yacht club is like, yo, we changing the old money, right? We the new wave, yeah, we new wave. people right. like us is coming in here, people like us, and we not switching up. Right. Like we stay in one hundred the whole time, right. whether you Jay Z right. or whether you Vince Serrano or right. whether you Strizzo, right. whether you Tampa Tony or whether right. you Tom G right. or whether you Juice World or whether right. you A Boogie right. or, or Knowledge right. or any any of those, we be in the right. same, we right. we rocking the same, right. and we are here to stay. Right, it's uncomfortable. Yeah. Keep that energy consistent. <laughs> I tell people like like like, look, man, like I'm just getting started. You know what I mean? Like I ain't going nowhere. You know, it's a lot of, especially now, man, you know, it's so much, 
you know, people loving the, the you know, people loving our vibe all over the country, all over the world. Bro, what you know? how so my question is, how are you doing it? Bro, so um how, how did you start? So th- so I tell people like like in anything you do, bro, and I say this to anybody uh that's listening to Youngest in the Yacht Club, sometimes you gotta take an L to get that W, mm. right? So I was taking number. I happened to have get number W's locally, mm. right? I had all you know all the records hitting in the club. All of them. I was one of the biggest DJs in the club. Mm-hmm. So I had all the other DJs following my lead. Where, where were you DJing at during that time? Oh my gosh, everywhere, bro! I was DJing, you know, Name Mirage, some- Mirage, Fuel, oh, bro, Full Moon, Saloon, Full Moon, Full all those Full. three Empire, bro. I'd be at Empire. Yeah, I mean, I remember we did a real big part at Empire, man. Studio, uh, what about Studio Inc.? Stu- and- bro, I did them all. Studio <laughs> Inc. I did uh, Whiskey North. Before it was Whiskey North, uh, it was uh, Club Joy. Club Joy. Club bro, Joy, Club bro. Joy used to get crazy. Lit, bro. So so I dj pretty much any club that was every club in Tampa Bay. I dj that. So I was winning mm. as far as that's concerned. You know, all my songs. And then, you know, went you know, what we call mainstream, when Bust Wide Open, when me and Key linked up mm-hmm. and, you know, started making those records, like Bust Wide Open, She Go Live, mm. started doing all the wild splashes and everything. Mm. As far as Tampa Bay is concerned, you know, I was at the peak, right? You were at the top. I'm, I'm throwing all these, you know, parties, and, and every Thursday I'm throwing, like, a big party at this this club that's no longer open called 24 Carat. Mm. I'm doing all this big stuff, bro. And it came to the point where I'm like, what's next, right? Because you keep doing the same thing. Right. It's like, okay, you know, same strippers, you know, same, (laughs) you know, same. So um, I just remember, bro, you know, all the relationships, you know, because I I worked for both radio stations. I worked for 98.7, which is 94.1 now. I worked at 95.7 to beat. I was actually the first mixer on 95.7 to beat. Damn. And um, and then uh, I put my two-week notice in with them, like, in 2009, bro. You know what I mean? So I worked for both stations. And so I, m- I had a lot of relationships. Right. It was a Tuesday, bro. I was over here at Whiskey Joe's, bro. Yeah, uh, Whis- on the, uh, on the s- right here on the causeway. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whiskey Joe's, yeah. It was um, the first Tuesday in February of 2014, dog. Mm. I was sitting there. At the fire pit, we had just, I met with a couple of DJ friends of mine, and uh, Bubba, Bubba called one of them. He called he called one of, one of my homeboys. Bubba Sparks? Yeah, Bubba Sparks called. We was on the phone, and Bubba, you know, at the time, you know, he was just getting back out there doing, you know, shows and stuff like that. Right. And then uh, he just asked what I was up to, and I'm like, he was like, yo, I got a spring tour coming up. You know, you got Bus Wide Open that's doing his thing. Da-da-da. You know, what if you came out? You know, because he remember me being a DJ, right? You know, but then you know, bust wide open out here, started popping. making all these moves, bubbling. But it was move, it was moving nationally, internationally. But we was just eating up Florida, like right. we was just so comfortable. Either way, man, um, he asked me to be his DJ. Gave, he he gave me twenty four hours to think about it. I called him literally, like I pulled down the road and, and hooked the right. <laughs> let me roll, let me pull over. So I was making literally. I be I be real with you, man. Like. Any given night at the strip club, I was making about four, five racks. Mm. You know what I mean? And obviously, you know, to start as a tour DJ, and they don't really know how good you're gonna do. Right. They know that you run the clubs, you know, wherever you're at, but right. they don't. They don't know how you're gonna do in front of like you know ten thousand, twenty thousand, right. a festival, you know, whatever. And 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 um, I, I just feel like I was built for it. I just morphed right into it, bro. And uh, and so obviously, I wasn't getting five racks, you know, a night. What were you getting at that time? Like the first bro, night that you did. The first night, bro, we we worked it out. I was getting probably about 350 a night. Mm. But three, that's like that's like that's like regular DJ. Right. Night, right? That's yeah, that's like you DJing at you know, most DJs around here in Tampa Bay. Right. You know, but you know, my flights getting paid for. I'm shaking hands. I'm at parties like at a Playboy mansion. I'm mm. you know doing all this other stuff. So it's like you're not spending that money. You right. Know, whatever. And not just that. Right. right. And not to cut you off. Keep right. that thought. But right now they're talking about Glorilla. Right. Paying somebody five hundred dollars right. to be her assistant. Well, and they well, hey, you her. better take that five hundred. They assistant. they are they are saying that she paying starvation wages. Man, let me tell you something. That assistant won't have to pay for nothing. Mm. Get your $500 a week because what's going to happen is you're going to shake hands with everybody else. Like you was doing. I'm telling you, shaking hands with everybody else. Then boom, 
Then I get a, a, a situation where Yellow Wolf needed me to be his tour DJ. Mm. And, and then that check jump up times four. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Mm. So and now you're making... And then, so now, now that you're... I mean, you're making this a night. How long, how long before the jump? Because that's the youngest in the yacht club, right? People, right. They, they see us on the boat. They see us right. with the way. Right. They see us with the jewelry. They see you doing your right. thing. Right. But they don't know the journey. So how long right. before the jump? So I got, you know, like... So Bubba... Let's see, this is 2014. So Bubba asked me to be his tour manager. Mm-hmm. You know, like, so as we go on, he asked to be his tour manager mm-hmm. around, like, the beginning of 2015, uh. right? So now my pay jumped up. Up. Uh. You know what I mean? So now... You moving. I'm, I'm, I'm tour DJing, and I'm also road managing. Mm. And then 2016 was when I just... Took off. Took off. You know, like, once you get on stage with Yellow Wolf, bro, and, and you out there in front of sold-out crowds every night, dog... And then once you get that bag, it's like you can't go backwards. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean? and that, that and and bro, that's where people do the fall off. Right, they go backward, they hustle mm-hmm. backward. That's that's where the whole hustle backwards come come from. And, and you know what? Let me clear this up too. Yeah. Um. So that's why I don't just go and do any club in Tampa Bay. Mm. Right. Why not? Because it's not the fact that I think I'm the you know the the best DJ or whatever in the world, but I set a value for myself, right? And so, but I come hang out. You know, I come hang out anywhere. But if you want me to do a DJ set, I need that energy to match the energy that I'm going to put into it. You got to pay me, you know, what I want because then you're going to promote it because now you done invested in me coming, you know what I mean, to your spot. It ain't just going to be like, okay, well, Strizzo going to be here. You know, the, that's why when I only, when I DJ locally, I go to the places that pay me what I want, that advertise me, you know, like I'm the billing that, that I am. That you are. Right. You're not Because you just, don't, it's the value, right? Right, right. It's, it's all about value. You're not about to just sit up here and just like, have me up here, name this. And it, it's, it's no ego thing. No. You know, it's just what you work hard for. You know what I'm saying? It's what you work hard for. If you have me. You saw how I promoted all the artists, all that for the the Janus. Yeah, program. I have my fly. Right. I have, <laughs> I have build everybody like like they like they the shit. Right, you know what I'm saying. Right, right. Build everybody like that, bro. Because then now they gonna push it the way that they, you that that you supposed to push it. We gonna promote it the way we need to promote it. Right. You know what I'm saying. Right. So it's not that because people ask me all the time. I don't answer everybody. Right. But they ask me all the time. Well, you know, like. Why, um, you know, you you don't do this club? Why you don't do that club? Why you ain't been an e board? Because they don't want to cut the check. You know what I mean? <laughs> Res- <laughs> respectfully, bro. Right. Like, you know, like, and I say this very respectfully, but I I am Strizzo. You right. Know what I'm saying, and you worked hard, and I work hard. And I'm not I'm not about to go back to like 2000 and like, you know, six to 2012. You know, uh, market value. That would you know? be like going from like like. Shack shoe in the stores to, <laughs> right. to Walmart. Right. And then that devalues your name because the right. next time they, even if you do it one night. Right. Now every club, they, right. they could do right. you like that. Right. Let me tell you something. I would rather, and I do this all the time. Mm. I would rather pull up on one of my homeboys for free. Big facts. You know what I mean? Big like facts. I do that. People ask me to come out all the time. Hey man, you know, you know, and, and, and again, no disrespect. Hey man, you know, let me give you a couple hundred dollars. No, I come for free. Mm. Just cause, just like I'm doing today, right? I ain't got nothing. I'm, I'm nah, home. I'm chilling, right, right? But I know I'm gonna get on a plane next week, or like I was this past weekend. Big fat. And go get a whole bag. You know what I mean? And, and that's that's another part. Relationship building. That's it. Because you said something earlier, and I, I really, I, I really feel like not just to me, not just because it was me, right. but you watch the energy. Right. You watch how people move. You right. observe. Right. You that's not wear these glasses, dog. <laughs> <laughs> why, 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 what, what, what makes you do that? You know what I'm saying? And then what do you look for? So everybody is not meant to, to mess around everybody, dog. Mm. You got to get in the building. You got to find like similar energies. You know Big what I mean? Facts. You got to have something common to talk about. Mm-hmm. It goes with anything. It goes with re- relationships, mm-hmm. you know, and everything. You got to surround yourself with, with complimentary energy, mm-hmm. right? It makes no sense. You know, if, if you up here talking to me about, like a fight that happened in a club last week, that that doesn't interest me. Right. You know what I mean? Right. But if you're talking to me about Youngest in the Yacht Club, and growth, and, and mm. things of that nature, mm. sign me up. Let's go. Because, you know, we we, we now we're talking about something that that's 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 familiar that 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 you know that I, you on that I'm on I'm right. not on that like who got in this fight over here you know all this other stuff not who got what 
Right. I ain't knowing that. That's the, ain't, that ain't paying out now on our bills, dog. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and at the end of the day, it's about having that energy. When you have that energy, you attract the other energy. Right. If I ain't feeling that energy, I'm out. You, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. And, and like you say, you didn't know what you was pulling up to. I didn't. You and know then what I mean? and then automatically <clears throat> that right. now you, you said it. Now people that we see in right in the city from 20 years, yeah. they they talk about we man, I'm doing big boxing <laughs> promotions and <laughs> Oh, you want to box? Nah, you I don't want to box, dog. I'm like, yo. My yo, dog Finn said he going to box, dog. Hey, he hey, listen, man. <laughs> Youngest in the Yacht Club, and, and I'm real about this. And there's no disrespect. I just said it on my IG, but I like my hands. Right. I like, and, and. In that and, video you showed me, dog. Bro, you know I, I, and that, bro, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not uh, Floyd Mayweather. Right. Right. Amito. Mm. Right. And so. I didn't get took some and I could give some. So right. I'm okay with saying this. Right. I really do like my chances against right. the game. Right. And for and, that fight, I'll be Joe Rogan, yeah. dog. I'll be I'll be hosting, dog. Hey. You know what I mean? Hey. Like, I know what I'm doing. Hey. We gotta talk to Ivan and make that happen, bro. Yeah, bro I'm with it. Yo, I'm with it. Yo, I'm that, with that, it, bro. But that that's like like you said, and then even 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 then we see in the the energy. And now, because of that. The doors are opening. Yeah, dog. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, like bro. we got the right code. It's like the match. And let me tell you something, dog. And when you get to these places, man, especially, you know, you know, you know, we in Tampa Bay, you know, like, you know, we create a staple here. Everybody, this this is where we rest our head. This is where we move around. This is mm-hmm. where we raise our kids, all this other stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But when you go to these other cities, you're a superstar. When you pulling up, bro, you're a superstar. Like, bro, like, like. When I walk into these venues, it's like, yo, that's, who is that? That's Strizzo from social media, Ooh, right? You know what I mean? That, right. That's who that is. So when you go out here, you already got one up. Yep. Don't mess your stuff up, you know, trying to, like, like get that relationship. Because let me tell you something, bro. These places will book you over and over and over and over again, bro. Mm. I have not been worried about getting a, 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 a show, a gig, or anything in years Ooh. because you already got the relationships. And and they see what you're doing. Right. And, and I'm glad that you talked about that. How do you know, how did you know that you were a star? And how can you see that quality in other people? Well, so remember, man, like, we, you know, like back in the day, like, like, you would think like, you know, locally again, you know, just starting with locally in Tampa. Let's stop right. saying locally. Yeah. Right. Cause, cause we, at the end of the day, bro, right. you were a celebrity, right? You were a celebrity. Right. Right. And you are like, a celebrity. Oh, well, you, you are. No, no, thank no, no. One of the dudes that paved the way for Tampa music. Right. And there's a certain sound that, we in right. we was dancing to we right. still dancing to right, right, yo fast. la la the goats like yo we got our own junk like right. we got our own stuff so right. it's like what 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 cre- what how did you know that you was you were gonna do that <sighs> you were gonna be that star that very that very first wild splash dog it, it was how, how? Bro, it was like when the radio station calls you know at, that was like when you get on wild splash bro it's like you made yo. It. You know, because I remember Tom G was the first one out of all of us that got on, on Wild Splash. Mm. And, you know, it was like, yo, that's like, that's what it is. And then after Tom was G. That, was that the one in Coachman Park? The one in Coachman Park. Yeah. It was a City Boy where it came yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. And that yeah. was like right when everything, you know, it started like, but City Boy just phew, took off. You know, and, and at the end of the day, it was like, even, even though I had all these, you know, Records and everything that was popping in the club, mm-hmm. I didn't. I was still working for another radio station, so right. I couldn't get booked. Mm. You know, you know when you because work for one, yeah, conflict of interest. Bro, that's why I put my uh, two week notice in in radio because it became a conflict of interest. Mm. I'm working over here. Why am I settling? And 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 no, I shout out to all my radio DJs. Right, but in my position, I was like, look, my value is bigger without this radio station. Right. You blocking your own. You're closing bro, the own door. Closing the own door, dog. As soon as I got, bro. As soon as I like got out of radio and just started flying, bro. Mm. It, the rest is history, dog. So that I'm glad you talk about that. Younger City Yacht Club. We got Strizzle, and and the reason why I want to ask this question is because that comfortability mm-hmm. of the radio. Oh man, right? It, it's a gift and a curse, dog. I've seen, and not just in Tampa Bay. I've seen. I mean. 
all the markets that I know a lot of radio people. Right. right. I mean, um, I mean, obviously, Bust Wide Open was, you know, Hit. top 50 in the country mm. at one point. I met so many radio guys. You know, you communicate with them. Right. You follow them on social media. Right. I've seen so many of them just all of a sudden get the hammer. You know, like, <laughs> corporate, corporate decide to want to, like, you know, Go like. Go a different direction. Yeah, just different, like. So a career in radio, man. I honestly, I honestly think the the safest uh, position to be at in radio is uh, a mixer. Mm. You know, like a you know, like an on air mixer. Right. Yeah. You showing the them? Clubs. Yeah. If you like an actual personality, bro, you're. I mean, you're expendable. They'll just. So the crazy part about this is, is that not just the music too, bro. Right. Mm. You get in that comfort zone. You get in that safe zone. Right. No matter what you in, what industry right. you in. Right. You don't want to move locally. You just know. Okay, I'm gonna go to this club. I'm gonna do this. Club, and your dreams club. be right in front of you. I'm telling you. And bro. you won't let that job go. Let me tell you something. You want to know? Let me tell you something. Man. Let me. Let me <laughs> You want to know the biggest thing I've seen with a lot of my peers? What's that? Is the fact that they are so comfortable popping here, right? Ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. Right. I live here too. But at the end of the day, how many times are we going to stand on this couch, right? How many times are we going to pop the bottle on this couch, mm -hmm. right? Go to Vegas and do it, mm -hmm. right? Go to New York and do it. Go to go to Miami and do it. Go Go to Atlanta and do it. Me, I'm popping bottles all over the world, dog. The like, world. Like, so I ain't just like Tampa, you know, Tampa couch, St. Pete couch, Clearwater couch. No, I'm on a couch. Dubai. In Dubai somewhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? And and getting another audience. Right. You said it. Right. You said it. Right. Because when, you, when you go there, they know the social, they know the superhero version of you. Right. Right. When we home, we like Clark Kent. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Bro, you know? that's the thing. Right. When I'm in New York. When right. I'm in these places, when I'm in uh, Rhode Island, New right. England, right. these people are like, yeah. yo, yo, da, da, da. but when I come here, bro, I'm trying to go to Walmart. Yeah, I'm chill. trying to go to the Walgreens. Chill. You know, I guess people will see you and they recognize you. Like, yeah, cool. You, you know, you, it's but, all love. You know, but at the end of the day, bro, what we're building is something that is like, you know, like global. You know what else, I mean? man. Legacy. That's it. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Bro, Str Strizzle, man, like this is... Yeah, and I'm glad that you talked about that because it's important. It's important to kind of see, like, yo, now you saying we talked about it, right? Mm -hmm. Now, when you're looking at your fans on IG, right. when you're looking at your live, now it be your people from Iran, Dubai, right? And, and, and you in the morning is just brushing your teeth on the live and oh, listen, lit. So when I wake up, because bro, you know, like us that do this stuff, man, we we be our. Our sleep schedules be weird. Dog. Right. We, we be, you know, because like. I went to sleep uh, at, I went to sleep at uh, five in the morning today. I think me too. Woke up at seven. I think me too. I, th I think I was right around. We in the same ballpark. And, yeah. and, and I'm trying like, and, and the fact that when you told me, hey, bro, we, I'm already used to that. Right. Because we m moving and shaking. Right. Your day, you structure it a certain way. Right. Something's always. Man, let me tell you something, dog. Like. You know, it's a blessing. You know, we got algorithms, everything, you know, uh, uh, like, but just the people that follow my music, you're going like live or you'll, you know, go make a post and you'll see all these people comment. And sometimes, you know, I'm curious. So I go, look, I mean, like, yo, this dude living like, you know, like this one guy, he's like one of the top car dealers in like Dubai. Mm. Right. Dude be selling like straight Rolls Lambos, Rolls Lambos and he be all on my post and I like, one of the top doctors in New York. Mm. Every post. Shout out to Dr. So, Mudgill. So you do check your fans. You do see that, right? Right. right. You, you trying to see, you trying to connect with them. Right. And it's like, you, you sit there and I'm like, yo, like, all these people, music is 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 an amazing thing. But then you also realize, like, like people are looking at you from a, a certain perception, right? Right. They don't know that guy that, you know, say was... Uh, here in Tampa and came up, you know, say driving down the street and people looking at us, right? Like, bro, I like if you before you ever, you know, you even told me today, like, I wouldn't knew you was like peeping us at Rock a Rod or you Bruh. know, over there, just you know what I mean, bro. They, I didn't even know it was you. Mm -hmm. My man's like, oh, that's Strizzo. I mm -hmm. can tell it's the white cat. Yeah. Oh, that's Tom G in the Durango. Yeah, oh, look at them. Yeah. Oh, man, let's go to the stop. And I'm like, yo, they don't know us, right? <laughs> they don't, but, but it's another thing. You're, you're celebrity, so you look unapproachable. 
Right. And to be honest with you, bro, and I, not to be honest, real shit all the time, it, you not that you not unapproachable. Right. You are approachable. You are good hearted. Yeah. Right. Obviously, you don't want to be taking pictures and right. have people all the time, but. Right. It do feel good to see the fans recognize yeah. your music. Yeah, it facts. it do feel good to see the fans singing your music, right? That's a blessing, dog. I mean, bro, it's a blessing, man. Like, like you know, the one thing you know, you go to these places, man. A lot of places I get booked, you know, on the strength of artists I used to work with. Mm. You know, you can be in backwoods, Alabama, somewhere, Louisiana, mm. and you know, you in places where like we might not agree religiously, politically, or whatever. Mm. But you bet you could bet your ass when when I get there and start that DJ set. We all singing the same songs together. Mm. You know, we all vibing together and everything uh. like that. So music brings everybody together, yeah, dog. You fact. know what I mean? The same way that them people that live in the country twerk, that's the same way the city girls twerk. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Everybody twerking, everybody having a good time. Uh -huh. And it brings us together, man. A lot of a lot of gaps are bridged with with music, music culturally. You know? Yeah, just yeah, I'm telling you, bro. It, it's something that just brings us all together, dog. How does it feel? Cause I see it all the time too, right? Mm -hmm. The dynamic, the 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 uh, demographic, is different culturally in Tampa than it is in Ohio, right? Even than it is in St. Pete, facts. Even than it is in Miami, facts. So how is it going to these places? It gotta feel like a road game, like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man, you know one thing I tell, hey, look, any artist watching this, entertainer, whatever, what whatever you do in entertainment. When you go into these cities, definitely don't go into it thinking you going it's every city is different. Mm -hmm. You don't know what you about to walk into. Mm. You know what I mean? You don't know the geographics. You can get on Google all day and Google Maps and oh, this is this far from this. But when you go there, you never know the vibe. You don't know how yeah. they dress. You don't even know what night what's what's popping. Right. You just you literally just pulling up. And you got to, like, get with, you, you got to hope that you get with the right locals, mm. the people that want to, like, take you to the right spots. Mm. You know, a, a lot of times when I do flying dates, like the one I did in, in Columbus, Ohio, shout out Columbus, Ohio, number love, I'll be back real soon. Hey. You know what I mean? Those Buckeyes, huh? Bro, I'm telling you, they all, right, <laughs> they you, better, all you, better, you better not say no other team. I already here, know, dog. not that team that start with an F. <laughs> bro, let me, let me tell you something, dog. Hey. Yo, bro, like, I wouldn't even say that. I wouldn't even say M nothing. They ain't. Hey, they, they, I shouldn't even right, said the right, M. Right, right. right. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, bro. You just never know what you're gonna walk into, bro. All you know is that when you go there, you gotta understand one thing: the cameras are always rolling. Mm. When you walk in, just know that when you walk into these places, they looking at you. Mm. You know what I mean? And and so their perception of you is whatever they made their perception of you. When they looked at your social media and everything before like that. Before you got there. Before you even got there. You're that guy. Mm. And so you just play that role, man. That's and, it. And, and like, so, hey, so look, everybody was, ex well, no, not everybody, just me. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I pull up to the little spot last week in, in Columbus. I meet, I meet the DJ, right? Right. And uh, I honestly, I've never seen Bust It Wide Open on the karaoke screen. I've Yo. No, I've no, bro, so... You know, I'm sitting in the back, you know, meeting the owner, you know, get, you know, meeting him, me and him hit it off, you know. Walk through, connect you know him. I mean? Yeah, yeah, all that stuff, man, you know. And the DJ called me out. You know what I mean? <laughs> what he say? He called me out. I was like, Strizzo, to the stage. I'm like, and you know, he, okay. Walk, so I walked over to the stage. He dapped me up and everything. And then, you know, because he had just put one or two together. Oh, you're the guy on Bustle Wide Open. Da -da -da -da. Right then and there. Right. So he's like, I got this on my karaoke machine. I'm like, huh? You know what I mean? Because I've never, bro. Seen it. We put Bust Wide Open out of 2009. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. To this day, I've not seen it like with, with the words. With the words. And you wrote the song. And I wrote the song, right? <laughs> so he started playing it, and I just started seeing it going across the screen, dude. I'm, I'm like, wow. Amazed. Amazed. I'm just... literally, it took me not, I did end up performing it karaoke. Right. You know what I mean? Right. It was, you know, it, it wasn't. I mean, it was just... So, was, so is that a different style than if you were going to just perform it, feeling it? Way different style. Because it's like, it. I'm reading it like I didn't do it. <laughs> I'm reading it like I did hey, what it's up. I'm going to beat, 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 beat it like that, but I'm reading, you know what I mean? Hey, like, hey. It's crazy, dog. Right. And that's got to be... So it's good because you're also unlocking different... Like, now you you know what the fans feel like, right? Right. 
right. for your song. Right, bro. It, it, it's just like, you know, when you, when Bust Wide Open, bro, like eight years after Bust Wide Open came out, mm. it was in the top 10 on the on the Germany radio chart. You'd be like, how'd this happen? You know? So that's funny that you say this. How did it happen? I would just like to say you, you by keep going viral, and you it still just keep going viral, right? Right. My other song, Up Down, it just keep going viral, right? Like, just it's it's important to know that because I so sometimes, man, I, I fall victim. Now, I'm not fall victim. I get irresponsible, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I I stop checking the ASCAP royalty checks. You I should. I, and you should check them things every single time. Right, right, you right. should be on them all the time. Right, right. You should see those streams. So I had a song called Hey DJ that mm -hmm. I that I did before I got Chris John when he was on 94 uh 98.7. Right. He would play it, right? right. Bottom Feeder Music was my DJ, uh was my manager. He was Bottom putting feeder, in the, okay. Yeah, he was my Scott nice. Lewis. Nice. Um so they got the song playing, right? Mm hmm that's in 2007. Mm -hmm. I'm just getting into the game, just getting into the rap game. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't even say that my my lyrics or anything. It was just a solid song. Right. I checked my BMI like three weeks ago. I should I should you not. It's in Germany mm -hmm. on the radio. Yep. I'm getting like seven, eight, nine dollars from the song. Yep. My BMI check is $125 for that month. Right. For that royalty period. Right, right. I see it late. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to figure out. I, I said I sent it to my boy Knowledge. Like, yo, why is this? He's like, yo, did you do a promotion? Why would I do a promotion right. on a song that's 10 years old, right? I'll tell you though. But it, people start seeing it. It go viral. People pick it up. It right. go on TikTok, social yeah. media, all these places. And you have no idea. So you need to be on you gotta You're be joined. on it, man. You gotta always check it, man. Shout out to Sean T. Remember Sean T. That made them like PX ninety videos. In yeah, the middle yeah, of the night? yeah, yeah. During COVID, bro. You know, up down. I put out. I put out up down in two thousand and fifteen. Mm. Uh, right during COVID, that dude Sean T. Did a video to up down, bro, and it made it go viral. I'm at like again. Over, yeah, bro. I'm like at over four million streams on TikTok. Off of that song, bro. Congratulations, It obviously man. took it. Appreciate it, man. It took it over. And, like, it just reinvented itself, dog. Do you give, for the people that no, don't know about music, how is music related to real estate? Like, is... Well, as far as... The value of it. The like, value. Okay, you, so same thing, right? So, if you have a property, right? Right. So, so you got a property. Say you bought a property in 2007. Right. right. Boom. So now, if you bought a property in 2007, Tampa. right, in Tampa, right? Right now, that property should probably be, like, quadruple worth what you paid for it, right? Just sitting there. Right. So, yes, I'm glad you asked me that. Same thing with artists. You're not supposed to devalue. Your, your, your value's not supposed to go down. Mm. You're supposed to keep it going up. Mm. You know what I mean? You can't get strids at no 2007 price. Right, I'm at the price, the market value of right now. Woo! You get what I'm saying? Right. That's 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 yeah. real estate, that's baby. Real Digital estate, real estate, yeah, brand bro. real estate, yeah, man. That's yeah, it. your 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 music that that music that you put out. Right. It don't matter if it's ten years ago. It don't matter if it got one or two streams. Facts. It's gonna resonate. Facts. And and if you keep doing it, and then you keep seeing it, you keep putting it out there, brother. What's old to us is new to them, dog. Right, you go there, man, bro. Well, listen, when I play, when I'm doing my DJ sets, right, and I play Bust Wide Open mm. or Up Down or Sweat, these people are dancing to it like it's a like the brand new song. Like it just came out yesterday. Bro, I had a player, one of the players, oh, man, and, and, and forgive me, brother, I forget exactly your name, but he played for Ohio State, right? He said Sweat is one of the one of the songs that they, like, use in the locker room. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. To get hyped, to, to get, get hyped, yeah, to I'm get like, warmed yo. up, yeah. Bro. And so and so, they, they, you know, he said, and that's they, he's on the he's on the Ohio State team now, now, yeah. Oh, so yo, yeah. and you made yeah. that in 2015, bro. No, I made sweat. I in like 2008, bro. And then when did you put it out? 2000, probably eight. <laughs> and then it, it re jumped seven yeah. seven years later. Yeah, like bro, I'm telling real you, estate. Dog, real estate, dog. Bro, Strizzle, I, I appreciate you, man. Youngest in the Yacht Club, I got it. You've dropped gems. That's why I say hey, you the bro. way. 
drop a gem that you would tell somebody coming up, like somebody that you would say, you know, how, like how how do you not motivated, but how do you stay consistent? Drop a gem on on what you would tell them, like man, you know what? Anything, man, just life, entertainment, period. Um, it's about surrounding yourself with the right energies. You know what I mean? If you got that negative energy around you, you gonna get the negative results, bro. You know mm, what I mean? Mm. You know, zero plus zero equals zero. Big facts. You know what I mean? And negative plus zero equals negative. Right, right. <laughs> facts, facts. You ain't making it in the space with, <laughs> you know, with doing calculations in your rocket. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. So, so, so you, you, you gotta, you, you have to surround yourself and you have to always be a student. Mm. To this day, bro, like I got millions of streams, mm. you know, and I'm, I'm still like, I'm not, I'm not where I, I want to be. Mm. I'm still like, I wake up every day with that hunger. Mm. You know what I mean? I still market myself like I'm like that guy. You know, people, and the thing is, people don't know that. People don't know that because they see the way that I move around here. They don't know that I wake up every day and I'm like, yo, I'm not satisfied with where I'm at. Mm. I'm taking these next three years personally. Mm. You got to take everything that you do personally and Big you got to be a student. Big you got to be willing to learn. Mm. It might be this young guy over here that's making these moves, him and his team or she and his and her team making these moves. And you're like, okay, what are y'all doing that I could do to perfect this or whatever? Right. And you could, you could learn from them right. and take it and add that new, right. you know, like, Bro, put I've, your own spin to it. Right. right. Iverson used to have a crossover. Right. James Harden brought the step back. Right. Step back. Now, Cross you did step yeah, back. Yeah. And I, now, yeah. now, now, Steph doing it all. Like right. yo, he right. putting it all together. So, right. so just keep like keep learning. You got to keep learning. You got you got to you got to stay humble. Keep learning. Um, and you got to just always know your value. Right. You know, always know your value. Don't. You know, um, and I get it, man. We all got, you know, bills, things of that nature. Mm. But once you set a precedent, just know that you'll be able to go and make these moves with people that want to see you come up. So don't devalue yourself, mm. you know, and it's all about decisions, man. Keep that negative energy away from you. The problem with this last uh, generation, last decade and a half generation, is that they would be, it's a lot of them that soup that go, that go popping, mm -hmm. but they, they become followers, right? Mm. You know what I mean? You're the, you're the leader. Mm. Don't ever let your homeboys or, or your crew make you feel like you're the follower. You're the leader. Mm. Be the leader. Lead. You I know love what I mean? That, man. And that's what it is about, you know, us, you know, people that's been out here for a long time is that we just know how to lead. I love that. We don't get persuaded by like, oh, come over here. Let's do this. Nah, I ain't going to do that. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I don't feel no pressure like, hey, man, why don't you come over here to this club tonight? No, nah, I'm not. You know, right. if it don't fit. What I'm, what I'm rocking on right now, I don't, I don't even need to be there. You said something earlier too, man, and I'm glad you said that about being a leader, right? Mm -hmm. the, 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 the stuff that you was doing back then in 2005, 6, 7, mm -hmm. you had to surround yourself by different people in right. 20. Why, why, like, what, how does that correlate with being a leader and your, fr your friends making you feel like you... Everybody can't go with you, dog. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. I hate to say it. <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah, the truth. I mean, Everybody can't go with you, dog. Some of my close friends, not that I hang out with to this day, you know what I mean? They always trying to, you know, tell me, oh, I'm about to do this, I'm about to do that, you know what I mean? Okay, show me, right? right. But at the, at the end of the day, everybody can't go with you, dog. Right. And, and and so that that to me, man, I feel like you 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 touched on huge things, man. You right. touched on the negative energy. Right. And then you talked about leadership, man, which no matter what industry you in, right. music, life, your kids, your right. family, right. you got to be a leader, man. So those 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 are big time, man. If your personal not right, your business not right. If your business not right, your personal not right. I be dog. trying to tell my wife that because right. when my room is dirty or right. my house is dirty, right. Right. I feel like my life is dirty. But let me tell you something, dog. <laughs> bro, it all matches, bro. Let me, let me tell you something, man. I, uh, quick story. I was in Guam. One mm. time, bro. I was in Guam. International Strizzo. Yeah, I, mean, I, 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 I was in Guam. Man. I was out there with uh, Pete Pablo and Bubba. Mm. I was out there, uh, this rich dude, oil dude, brought us out there to, you know, do a show. Mm. At the time, the dude from North Korea, the, the you know, Kim Jong, whoever yeah. his name is, he was up there talking about bombing Guam, you know, to start, you know, remember World, that? world, yeah, yeah, yeah old day, And Trump had to go over there. <laughs> and and talk to him, like, yeah, oh, yeah, down, yeah, bro. Like, little rocket man. <laughs> 
I was over there at the time, and I mean, they was doing like bomb, you know, bomb uh, training or whatever. The, you know, yeah. siren going through this. Going rah, crazy. Rah, rah. And, you know, at night, you know, you could like literally look out there and you'll see these little things that look like flares up in the air. No, these are rockets. They North Korea was really over there shooting these rockets and Damn. stuff. So I said, you know what, let me just get myself, you know, together spiritually you know, just in case it, dude just decide to want to just... From out of here. You know, instead of launching them way out there, you know, he just decided to launch one over here like he was threatening to do. Right. So I went down there, man, and, and you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a spiritual person. I'm not really a religious person. Yeah. I went down to talk to a monk, man, and, and I got I got enlightened to so much stuff. You know, um, uh, you know, when I talked to him, bro, and it's pretty much, if you just really just simplify your life, dog, you know, it's really just... It, it, it's either like this or this, you know, mm. if your business not right, your personal not going to be right. Mm. If your personal not right, your business not going to be right. Mm. Simple as that. If you walk about it like that and just think about it. Okay, cool. You know what I mean? If it's raining outside and I don't put on, you know, or don't take an umbrella, I'm going to get wet. Mm -hmm. Just simple stuff like that, bro. It, 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 if you really, you know, if I don't wear a jacket, it's, if it's cold outside and I don't wear a jacket, I'm going to be cold. Mm. If I if it's hot outside and I wear a jacket, I'm going to be hot. Mm -hmm. If you really just kind of like, uh, uh, for lack of a better term, dumb it down like mm -hmm. that, the way you move around, you know what I mean? Keep it short and I'm simple. I'm telling you, look, look, this club right here want me to come out there. I don't feel comfortable going to the club. Don't go. Right? You know what I mean? If you start... Putting it down like that, cause and effect, dog. Cause and effect. It's all about cause and effect. And that's how I live my life, dog. Real simple. When you hit me up about this right here, I'm like, boom. Solid dude. Boom. He doing his thing. Boom. I respect his grind and what he got going on. You know what I mean? Thank and you, like, man. it was simple, dog. You simple, know what I mean? man. I appreciate that, Bro, man. Bro, you know how I many? I mean, a lot of people hit me up to do stuff, dog. It's I, crazy because I have been turned down. I know that's hard to believe, uh, but I have been turned down by people uh, who... They will get on this show right. when they see you oh, and other people on here. Facts. But when they do think about it because of the the, the locality, right? Being right. local. Right. Be, so they see me every day, so they feel like they get comfortable, right? Nah, man. But the fact that you kept it simple, say less. Right. Solid dude. Yeah. Doing his thing. Right. Positive energy. Right. Leader. You just, it's, it's, it, it, it all turns out to be a win. That's you it. You know what I mean? And, and bro, I feel like... So I feel like the people that I've invited on this, mm. I don't feel like it's like made up scripted. We, people are like, what kind of questions you going to ask me? Nah, we was, bro, honestly, when we started the conversation, I thought we were still just talking. <laughs> you know what I mean? that. You know what I mean? Yo, honestly, I thought we were just talking. When, when you guys see this episode, when you hear this episode, right. you see how we just right. go and right. it's like, we just in it. Right, because you, know you, you know you was adjusting the thing and then we, <laughs> you just sat down and we just started talking. I'm like... Now I realize, like, oh, okay, like we actually getting some content right now. And that, you know what I mean? That's yeah. that's that organic feeling, that energy. Yeah. yeah. That comes from that. Yeah. I know there will be a time where it's gonna be uncomfortable and yeah. I'm gonna have to get into journalism. Oh, but when yeah. it but when it's yeah. like when it's when it's organic, right, it don't feel like work. Right. right. It don't feel because you know, sometimes you might you you know, you might um you know, you never know what somebody going through or whatever. One thousand percent. They might come in here and then they might just think that you that you know what they've been going through, so they already on the defense, dog. And, and then like, so it's like they just waiting for you to ask that gotcha question. You know, and so, they ready to pop right, off, right? right shot right, value, right, shot value, and right. and not just that. Like, who gonna be the one? Right. The one thing though that I could say is. If the energy is positive, right. I feel like that takes over. Right. And, and and that's what I get from you. Right. That's what I get from a lot of great leaders. Right. That's what I get from people who want to get to that level. Right. You can just sense that. And I feel like that's how you know people are And strong. you know what, though? For your podcast, I'm, 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 I'm very grateful to be... Who am I, your first guest? No, no. I mean, okay. I, I appreciate that. They ain't that. You I feel like the yeah, first guest, yeah. dog. They ain't. Nah, but, uh, I, I love that. Hey. I love the fact that. Yeah, I, mean, I love the fact that. Yeah. I, I love the fact that, you know, you are the first right. legend, right. the first celebrity, Tampa celebrity. Appreciate That I feel when people do see this, right? right? When people do see this and they do see, because I've had people who write books on the show. Right. I have uh, trainers, nationally renowned trainers on the right, show. Right. Uh, I've had uh, nationally renowned uh, entrepreneurs on the show. Right. But Youngest in the Yacht Club is about artists, not just musically, yeah. creative, creatively, 
all those people who artists, are just fellas, doing something. Fellas, ladies, whoever, if he invites you, come, man. Don't cheat yourself. It's a dope vibe. It's a dope, it's a dope venue. I love that. You know, this room is dope. It just, it feels like, it don't feel like you, you know, up here, you know, you know, I, I believe that this is a beacon for, for good energy and to put it out there to the world, man. And, and I know whenever our episode drop, I'm definitely going to be consistently sharing it with the world. I love that, man. And all that other stuff. And man. I'm not paying you to say this. Hell no. <laughs> Nah, man, I'm just hey, here. He came for the hey, love. Look, he man, came I'm for here. the it's love. A, you know, whatever day this drop, hey, I tell y'all straight, this is a Tuesday. Yes. It's a Tuesday, yes. man. Uh, club going up. Yacht you know, podcast we, going up. You're yeah. going to the Yacht Club you know on a mean? Tuesday. You're going to the Yacht Club, bro. We just here. We just vibing, Thank man. Thank you, bro. Thank you. you know know Strizzo, man, I appreciate you, man. At definitely, you know, it's been an honor, man, to have you on here. Appreciate it's been an honor to, uh, to be able to grow up. Um, as a man from a JIT to to hear where I'm at and right. to continue to see what you're doing. Appreciate it, dog. Don't I'm stop. I'm just getting started. Yeah, that's it. That's how, right? Right, Because right? right, right. it's new to everybody else. Right. So, my brother, I appreciate you, bro. Thank hey, you so much. Love. Thank you for having me. Hey, and you keep doing your thing, dog. Thank Cause you. Because, again, I became a fan of your music 30 seconds into it, dog. Uh, I appreciate Shout out that. to your wife that that reached out. Oh, Jenny. You know what I mean? And, and, <laughs> hey, and sent, it, and sent it to me. You know what I mean? Thank you, baby. And, and I, I love you. I believe it, bro. You know, like, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm connected to the universe of stars. We linked for a reason, bro. Big fact. You, you know gave me mean? my first show at Janice Land, Alive, man. And man, I, I, I know it ain't the last, man. And, appreciate and it, bro, bro, I I, I want to tell you, man, I, I, we are going to work in multiple facets because Facts. I feel like doors open Facts. when you get good people around. Facts, so. dog. Thank you, my brother. Facts, dog. Love, bro. Love, man. Straight Thank up. you, man. Straight up. Yeah, that was dope, man. This is how I live. Don't tell me what to do in my life. I just said I've been three years. Don't touch 25 Take a little look. First it was the corner. That was many hands. That said I'm a thug. I said thank you, your honor. I'm just trying to prosper. Venom to the opera. Hope we thought we lost it. I rap Jimmy Hoffa. Never heard star that was taken by the coppers. Trying to give me life. I told them make a better offer. I just sent the wolves to the prosecutor office. That on his face I had him look like Cindy Crawford. I'm about to lose it. Oh, that hate it useless. Old Spice swagger. I ain't even have to prove it. So much swagger. I ain't even get to use it Oh, you like my chick, it's only cool when you do it For my amusement, I became a tool man Had to send an aloe in the house for home improvement Cause this is how I live Don't tell me what to do in my life I just did a bed three years Don't touch 25 I just wanna live, I don't care about what we here for What you in my air for? I'm a smooth criminal, eating off residuals Since I went digital, smooth ass lacy I'm getting all my minerals I can clear your sinus better than you came with Benadryl Ain't no reconsidering, looking at imprisonment So I'm going hard at these niggas like I'm twittering Told me on my fellowship, tell them I need medicine News they gon' embellish, pay me or I'm getting hit You see how the bezel get bigger than an elephant Wanted for embezzlement, a lot of other but that's irrelevant Riding something polo by the color of a pelican And chillin' with the kid Guess you paid like Kevin Federlin Up in the hood, I'm a gangster and a gentleman Up late night with your wife on day This is how I live Don't tell me what to do in my life I just stood up in three years Don't touch 25 in life Stop me, my dog.